Well, it occurred during uh, the first days of April that thousands and ten thousands of people, both Muslims and Christians alike, assembled in front of the Church of the Holy Virgin to see the apparition of the Virgin Mary as she appeared there on the dome. The days later, large numbers of people, both Muslims and Christians of the various denominations, assembled there and witnessed the apparition in various forms. I myself saw it numerous times with friends in my parish, with university students, and uh, yes, there's to me no doubt about it. I, I was standing over there near the fence and holding that iron fence as, as, as strong as I could because of the pressure of the crowd. And it was about 8.30 in the evening and I saw a light coming out from the south, this dome, which is the southwest dome, and the light began to increase uh, gradually and then suddenly the Holy Mother was standing in front of the dome. She stood there for uh, about 15 minutes and then she began to walk and she stood in front of that cross and she knelt and stood up again and then she walked to the northern side of the church just above the area where I was standing and she looked at, at, at the crowd and she blessed them and she smiled and I can say that I saw her teeth when she smiled. I was preparing in my mind about seven or eight requests from her when I saw her. One of them was to cure me from asthma, which I had for about 20 years. Uh, when I, I, I saw the Holy Mother, I found myself trembling and tears coming down my cheek. Okay. And and uh, I, I was, uh, I stood there about half an hour and I went back to call my family who was in the other street. And when I came back, I could not reach the church because of the pressure of the crowd. Till about 11 p.m. I, I could manage to reach near the fence but I was not holding anything at that time. And I saw a Muslim clergyman, and he gave me his name as Megahid. And he told me, you are trying to look, you don't see well, I will carry you. And he carried me, and when he did that, I saw the, the most, uh, uh, fantastic view I ever saw in my life. I saw the Holy Mother standing. She was about double the size of the human being. She was just, uh, I believe, in front of that dome. And she was dressed in blue and a red robe above the dress. And there was a uh, crown of about 20 centimeter high on her head. The second time I saw her after that, it was a week later. I came a week later, it was Saturday also, and uh, she was, uh, I, I saw just half view, she was standing behind the dome, and then I saw uh, people pointing at the moon and I looked at the moon, I saw her face stamped on the whole face of the moon. And that was the last time I saw her in the tomb before I left for the United States. We even had our servant and she doesn't understand anything in Christianity. And she was jumping up and down because she saw her and it's like, you feel all the chills, you know, it's not like, uh, a simple thing, it's really very, very touchy and uh, your whole body 
is different and they start cry you don't know what you know if you're crying you're uh, screaming you don't know what to do and the girl started you know she was 17 18 years old and we started asking her maybe we are not seeing right and we told her what are you seeing and she said that uh, she's seeing a lady with a she didn't even know the halo but she said with a crown full of bu uh, light bulbs because that's how bright she was and um, she we saw her like in a frame like in a picture and then the she, standing as a whole with fluorescent light she was very neat he looked at the church first he saw a ball of light that light developed to be a young lady on top of the dome in the middle of the church. After a while, all passing by stopped to see the girl that commit suicide from on top of the church. Suddenly, the Christian people cried, that is not a girl, that is the Virgin Mary. The girl on top of the church turned and faced them and then floating over the middle dome she came near the end, the, the front end of the church and blessed them all. You had a tremendous circumstance because not just one or two or six or seven people seeing the Virgin Mary, but hundreds of thousands, including former President Abdul Nasser, government officials, officials of the church, the Orthodox Church, as well as Catholics, Protestants, Pentecostalists. You had them gathering every night for several years. I, I don't believe I saw her. Or why she show herself for me? Why Saint Mary show herself for someone like me? A sheet of light just out of nowhere appeared on the top of the church. And my sister-in-law says, look, she's standing there. She came down, she stood on the ground beside the church and then she moved into the church and then she vanished many hundreds and then thousands then tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people congregated there and for themselves saw a phenomenon and strange smoke and what looked like nearly luminous birds or doves and this went on for several years to the point where by some estimates a million people saw the virgin mary in zaytun or some type of supernatural phenomena. The question is, why Zaitun? Why Egypt in the mid-1960s when the Middle East was a powder keg? War was in the air, a massacre had been plotted. The homes of Christians were marked for blood. Peace, it seems, would take a miracle. They marked every house of the Christians with a red cross. And then appeared the Virgin Mary. And instead of taking revenge of them, she cured them, healed them, gave them sight. The paralyzed began to walk. I heard a, a man uh, shouting, I see, I see. I was told the man was a blind Muslim and the Holy Mother gave him back his eyesight. I can see. His eyes were opened and saw the figure of the Virgin in front of him on top of the church. The man was hysterical. He cried out. The miracle happened. The miracle happened. The miracle happened. I can see. And begin stretching his hands, stop everyone around him. One girl named Teresa Galila had polio when she was about six months old. She could drag her legs with crutches and she was healed at Saitun. And I had seen her walking. One of the most amazing miracles of healing occurred to a woman with breast cancer who came to Zaitun in search of a cure. One night as she lay sleeping in a room near the Church of St. Mary's, she had a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Before she go to sleep, deep sleep, she felt the Virgin coming in with a small boy. The young boy gave her a small knife or something like that. And the Virgin told her, I am going to remove the cancer from your breast. 
The next morning, the priest found a bowl of tissue next to her bed, and she was covered by a cloth with the sign of the cross written in blood. The amazing thing is, there is no sign of any wound or any opening or anything. X-rays, uh, analysis, proof that is free from cancer completely.